From the 9th of September 2024, important changes to the death certification has the potential to delay the burial of your loved one in England and Wales. Here are 10 very important points you need to know about the changes. 1. The reforms to death certification are happening because in the old system, independent scrutiny of the cause of death by a medical examiner wasn't mandatory. This sometimes led to misdiagnosis, a negligent care or deliberate wrongdoing being overlooked, and thus, an investigation was not started and the wrong cause of death was recorded. 2. New laws under death certification will mean every death will be subject to an independent review by either a medical examiner or a coroner. The goal is to create a robust system, greater transparency and accuracy in determining the cause of death. But the new system of death certification may also lead to delayed burials. 3. Under the new system of death certification and assuming the deceased had an attending practitioner, usually the GP or hospital doctor that cared for the deceased during the lifetime of their illness, will still propose a cause of death recorded in a form known as the Medical Certificate of Cause of Death, or MCCD. And now, the cause of death will undergo mandatory scrutiny by a medical examiner. 4. Medical examiners are senior medical practitioners, specifically trained in death certification. They will review the proposed cause of death contained in the Medical Certificate of Cause of Death, as well as the deceased's medical records, to establish an accurate cause of death. This additional layer of scrutiny is likely to cause some delay in the burial if, for example, the medical examiner has not received the proposed cause of death as set out in the Medical Certificate of Cause of Death form completed by the attending practitioner, or the medical examiner has not had sight of the relevant medical notes to review, or the proposed cause of death as recorded by the attending practitioner does not accurately detail and or match information contained in the deceased's medical notes. Delayed burials may also be caused due to the limited working day of a particular medical examiner or the opening and closing times of the medical examiner's office during weekdays, weekends and bank holidays. An out-of-hours service of an on-call medical examiner working with the attending practitioner to finalise the medical certificate of cause of death will go some way to alleviate any concerns the deceased's family may have about any delays to the burial of their loved one especially from faith communities where burials are required to take place as soon as possible. 5. The new process means the medical examiner, not the attending practitioner, will be responsible for transferring or sending the medical certificate of cause of death to the registrar for registration of the death. Deaths will not be registered until the registrar receives notification of the cause of death from the medical examiner or the coroner. This notification will also start the five-day statutory time frame to register a death. So in the event of an agreement between the attending practitioner and the medical examiner over the cause of death, confirmed in the finalised medical certificate of cause of death, the registrar will then complete the registration of death, releasing the body for burial, and thus, there will be no further delay. However, in the unusual event where there is an unresolved disagreement between the attending practitioner and the medical examiner over the cause of death, or the cause of death cannot be established, there will be a referral to the coroner to consider an investigation into the cause of death. This is likely to add further delay to the burial. 6. There are also major changes to the medical certificate of cause of death form. The new form contains more detailed questions to ensure all relevant information is captured, such as the ethnicity of the deceased. It's designed to improve the accuracy of mortality statistics, which are crucial for public health research and policy making. 7. Remember, for deaths occurring at home or at hospital, the attending practitioner's role, that is the deceased's GP or hospital doctor, is limited now to proposing the cause of death, which will then be reviewed by a medical examiner. The point of contact for the deceased family is therefore now primarily with the medical examiner's office. 8. Whether the death occurs at home or at hospital, the medical examiner's office will inform the representative of the deceased that the medical certificate of cause of death form has been transferred to the registrar for registration of the death, and this should be done without unreasonable delay. 9. Any death which is sudden, unexplained or suspicious will still be referred to the coroner, whether, for example, the referral comes from the police or the medical examiner. And 10. So, what should representatives of the deceased do? First, be prepared for possible delays in the burial process due to the additional scrutiny by the medical examiner. Secondly, make sure your contact details are with the medical examiner's office. 
the medical examiner's office must give you an opportunity to ask questions or raise concerns about the cause of death of your loved one, so expect a call from their office. If you miss the call, this may delay forwarding the finalised medical certificate of cause of death to the registrar for registration of the death. In addition, during the call with the medical examiner's office, you can also ask questions. For example, questions about timescales and whether following the call, they will be sending the medical certificate of cause of death to the registrar for registration of the death, so the registrar can proceed to complete their work in releasing the body for burial. You could also make a call or send an email to query whether there are any issues delaying the process of burying your loved one from the medical examiner's perspective. And thirdly, please communicate regularly with your funeral director, who will be familiar with changes to death certification and know the formalities to ensure the burial of your loved one takes place within the new legal framework. Thank you for watching. To stay legally updated, make sure you subscribe to Community Legal Education today.